السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. Welcome again to King Abdulaziz University Faculty of Science Department of Chemistry with another experiment for the uh, Chemistry 281 General Chemistry Lab. Today we will perform another experiment. It is the, the uh, acid-based titration using pH meter. In this experiment, we need uh, an acid, unknown HCl, the sodium hydroxide with known uh, concentration. We need a, a burette. You fill the burette using your funnel and your sodium hydroxide. Need a, a, a magnetic steerer. We need a magnet. And we need a pH meter. Okay? So, to start the experiment, first we have to pipette 10 ml of the unknown hydrochloric acid solution. using the pump and we'll take the 250 ml uh, glass beaker put the magnet there and pipette 10 ml exactly of the HCl the solution have to be exactly the meniscus at the, the mark the lower meniscus so if it is higher or lower try to adjust it to be exactly at the meniscus and after that transfer it to your glass beaker the one that contain the magnet add water to that one add a lot of distilled water to make the volume up to 100 the number of moles that we titrate for the HCl still the same remain the same although the concentration changed okay after that adjust your system so that your burette is a little bit inside your solution inside the beaker and your pH meter after you rinse it have to be inside the solution as well and start the magnetic steer to steer the solution and be careful from the magnetic steerer from the magnet cell to hit the uh, pH electrode because it will break it. Once you adjust everything, add your indicator is the phenolphthalein. Add few drops of, of the phenolphthalein, and using your sheet that have the table for the sodium hydroxide and HCl titration, you start to record. Your partner will start to record the volume of sodium hydroxide added and the pH reading so for the first one we write zero volume of sodium hydroxide add and we will record the pH value add one mil open the tab of your beer and add one mil of your to the metal side from the burette and your partner will record the reading for the TH add another one mil so now we have two mil in total and your partner will record the pH we'll do the same every time till the color of your solution start to change because you can see the phenolphthalein change its color 
from acidic sol solution to basic when we add the sodium hydroxide to be pink in color so the more you add the more pink you will get but it disappeared because the sodium hydroxide reacts completely with the HCl present at the solution till you reach around the end point every time when you add 1 ml again you have to record your pH okay when you are close to the end point you will see the color of your indicator is going up and you can see the reading of your pH meter is going up ramping very fast because we are very close to the equivalence point where the number of moles of the acid equal to the number of moles of the base now we can see we are almost at the end point where your pH went high very fast start to change from pH 2 and it will go up till it reach the equilibrium one drop we add will change the solution from acidic to basic as we can see at the pH reading and this is the end point you record that volume for the sodium hydroxide and this volume of sodium hydroxide is equivalent to uh, the number of moles of sodium of HCl present at the solution the end point here it is the pale pink the very faint pink at the solution as we can see okay we repeat the same experiment again for uh, 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 three times for the HCl and we do the same experiment again with another acid which is weak acid the uh, acetic acid which is weak acid but the end point will be a little bit different and here we can see the difference between the uh, weak acid and the strong acid when you done when you finish that you start to plot your uh, readings the volume of sodium hydroxide add to the solution with the change of the pH your uh, uh, you can use the Excel to do that and at the end you can see the change in the equivalence point uh, between the uh, HCl and that for the acetic acid thank you so much Assalamu alaikum